Hey guys, we are live on Neri's Kitchen, but before we begin, I'd like to announce the winner of last week's giveaway, and our winner is Carrie McWinnie. Woo! <laughs> Please contact us to claim your prize. Okay, so today's guest on Neri's Kitchen works as an x-ray technologist. She loves to bake and cook for others, and definitely takes after her mom, who is also known for her delicious Christmas cookies. She was asked to come on my show after we've tasted her yummy protein cookies. When she's not baking, you will most likely find her at the gym and has recently hit her 1,000 workout milestone. Everyone, please welcome Kristen Harrison from Fit Club West. Hey, <laughs> hey Kristen. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Yes, well, I tried your cookies and they were they were fabulous. So. Oh, that's good to hear. What are we making today? We are going to start with a soup, a homemade okay. soup. It's called fagioli soup. Fagioli. Yes. It sounds it, Italian. It is, okay. actually. It's kind of a knockoff off of the Olive Garden soup. No way. Yes. I always hear about this Olive Garden soup and people keep saying it's so good and the recipes up, I've never actually tried it. So it's one I'm of my excited. favorites. Okay. So it's a tomato based soup. Okay. So one of the first things to start with, we'll start with some sausage okay. um, out of the freezer or the meat section. Sometimes it's frozen. Uh, we'll start with Johnsonville sausage. Okay. Um, I buy it with the casing just because you get more bang for your buck versus already um, out of the casing, I guess you should say. Right. Um, so what we'll start with is we will take it out of the package, squeeze it into a uh, pan okay. and start to saute it with a bit of olive oil. So we'll use about a teaspoon, tablespoon of olive oil. So this is hot Italian sausage. Correct, Does it yes. have to be hot Italian? No, you can use the mild sausage. You can but also... It has to be Italian though. Um, not necessarily. Oh. I've seen other recipes. They use ground turkey, ground lean ground beef. Um, other options are available if you let's prefer. Let's just use the sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. Okay, so let's, uh, we're going to take it out of the casing? Yes. You want me to do it? Sure, if you'd like to. Okay, Open I'll the do back. it. <laughs> I've never actually done this before. <laughs> and then, oh god. You might need to slice the casing. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and then do you want me to put it in the pot then? Yeah, we'll start, I'll grab okay. we'll we can even bring the pot over oh, here. Oh, bring the pot like. here? Yeah. Okay. So let's do that. I'll just move this over here. Okay, so what so we want to do is take the meat out of the casing because we want to scramble it as we cook it, break it up into pieces. Now, I mean, do you have to take it out of the casing? Can you just chop it? Um, I, ju I just, you can leave it in the casing. Mm -hmm. um, it just gives a nice crumble texture. Oh, in the okay. Soup. So that's what you're looking for. So as we're, you can kind of break it up too as you put it in the pot. It's kind of... Can I just <laughs> squeeze it yeah, out? That's what I did. There we go. It's coming out. I don't have time to take a knife and... <laughs> this is fun too. So to saute the, uh, the sausage, we'll also put a tablespoon of olive oil in it. Oh, you do have to use olive oil. Can you just put it without the you oil? You could. Um, I find sometimes it sticks to the bottom of the pan. Okay. Okay. And it helps brown the meat a bit. Yeah, let's do that then. Doesn't hurt. Okay. So I'm just going to put this in the garbage. Sure. Use my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Wash up. Okay. There we go. And then how high do I cook it? So you can turn the uh, heat on to high. Okay. And then we'll also get a spoon if you have. Yep. And just crumble it. Yes, correct. Okay. So we'll grab the tablespoon of olive oil. So while this is cooking, um, if we you have the patience to be able to multitask, we can start cutting the vegetables. I can multitask. <laughs> I do that for a living. Like, trust me, if you guys see what I do at work, I multitask a lot. If you guys are watching this from work hi <laughs> oh yeah it's crazy like my desktop oh my goodness like i have all of these applications opened it's insane so for the vegetables we'll yes. be using one whole onion so we'll okay. chop it into like dice it into pieces dice into pieces yeah um also we use three sticks of celery or stalks of celery also okay. two to three carrots Two to three carrots. So we'll chop all of that up. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a strong onion. <laughs> you know, I wear contacts, right? So it doesn't affect my eyes. But it's funny though, when I did not wear contacts before, 
I actually used to wear safety goggles, right? To stop well, that's me. That's a good idea to uh, prevent it, it, from it does. It, it does help. Am I just dicing this? Yeah, we'll just dice it. Okay, it does help wearing the safety goggles, but it still seeps through and you still end up crying after. Okay. Let's do a rough chop like that. Yeah, it doesn't oh. need to be perfect. Okay. Yeah, it's a soup, right? Last week we had soup also. Which soup was last we week? We had pea soup, and you know, it was perfect because it was so cold at 1.2. We're getting spoiled with this weather. I know. Okay. I'm just going to check on this sausage. Sounds good. So what, after the sausage is done cooking, yep. we'll um, remove the sausage from the pan, and then we'll saute the vegetables next in that same pan. Oh, okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use my masher. Okay. Let's see. I have a masher here somewhere. Where's my masher? Oh. And so how, uh, how often do you make this soup, Kristen? I haven't made it this uh, fall yet. So this is the first time. I probably make it two to three times every winter. Really? It's one of my go-to. It kind of reminds me of chili. Of chili? Yes, yes. because of the texture and it's full of beans. Okay. Uh, nice hearty soup to eat. Good. I love hearty soups. So I thought I'd help you out here. And awesome. Yes. Some of the vegetables. I'll keep cooking this. So, Kristen, I hear that you used to salsa dance. I do, or did. <laughs> How long were you dancing for? Um, I danced for, I believe, I'm going to say three years. Oh, for three years? Yeah. And how did you get into dancing? Kind of just a hobby, something to do, keep myself busy. And were you doing it once a week or twice a week? Um, actually, I was a part of the uh, dance group, so we were... Probably dancing three, four times a week, maybe five times. Uh huh. Social dancing as well as practicing. I actually tried salsa dancing before. I went to this place downtown, and uh, I went with a girlfriend of mine. Yeah. And it was so weird, but they would line all the girls in one line, and then all the boys on the other yeah, side. Yeah, that sounds about right. And then we would dance with our partner for about I don't know five minutes or so, and okay. then we would switch. And then you got to dance with every single partner at the yes. end. Yeah. And I said to my friend, this is kind of like speed dating. It was so weird for me, but at least you know how everyone dances, right? Because everyone think, is so different. I think, honestly, <laughs> a lot of people probably go who are single. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the funny thing was, like, I was very pregnant at the time, too. <laughs> I was, um, well, not very pregnant. I was definitely like six or seven months so like I was it's fun and it's great exercise it too. is like I went to support my friend it was really fun I, I would recommend singles to go right you get to meet a lot of people who says hi oh hi Jane thanks for tuning in okay Kristen I don't yes. know is this good now that or, looks perfect. Looks perfect. Yeah. Okay, we can so take that out of the saucepan or okay. the pan. Pot. Okay, I'll take it off. I tried to crumble it. That's okay. If it's crumble does crumble. <laughs> Everybody can choose how they want to for the recipe. I like it nice and thick. I like to bite into pieces. So then that extra tablespoon of oil yeah. we'll put in the saucepan or the pan, the soup pot, and oh, we're so going put... to saute the vegetables till they're soft. Okay, so put more oil in here? Yes, we'll put, just, oh, is there quite a bit of grease in there? Um, you know, I kind of I think we can leave in. that. Sometimes leave um, I will, it depends personal preference too, yeah. if it's a lot of grease on the um, meat, I also sometimes rinse it to remove the, some of the extra fat. Okay. But like I said, it's a personal preference and choice. So what we'll do is we cut all these veggies up. I actually used to do that too. 
when I was like really into dieting and uh, just really wanted to look a certain way, I actually used to put my meat through a strainer, strain out the oil, and then I would actually rinse it too if I wanted to get rid of the fat. I don't do that anymore, but I used to do that too. So then I guess what we can do is while that is sauteing, we'll yeah. add three cloves of garlic, okay. which I didn't have any cloves of garlic and didn't want to go back to the store. So one of these, uh, one teaspoon is, I guess if you want to add that to the sauteing vegetable, one teaspoon is one clove of garlic. Oh. So we can put three of those teaspoons Oh, three in. of these? Okay. Normally it would be fresh cloves, but just okay. as close as we get. All good. I buy the pre-chopped ones too. Okay. Okay, we so go. then we'll saute those vegetables up a little bit. Just until they're tender. Okay. So it won't take long, just a couple of minutes. Just a couple of minutes? Yeah, and I guess while we're doing that, we can, uh, we'll get a strainer and we'll start straining. We have uh, navy beans, which are white beans, and then we also have black, black beans. So we'll put those in the... <laughs> okay, so here's my strainer. <laughs> black beans or kidney beans. <laughs> no, these are black beans. <laughs> kidney beans look like kidney beans. Yeah, so either one. The recipe called for kidney beans, but I had black I, beans. I don't know so. how to use this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see? It's fancy. I've never used it before. <laughs> I'd probably do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> see, yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, so really no. fancy. <laughs> And you rinse it too? Yeah, we'll rinse those off. Okay. <laughs> I love beans. That's why I was like, ah, the black beans will work today. Oh, yeah. Actually, I think black beans are better for you than kidney beans and stuff. Carb-wise, anyways. It's good. All right, that looks perfect. How are we doing there? We're doing pretty good. Probably just another minute, another and then minute? we'll, yeah, just a little bit longer to be a little bit more tender. Okay. So then I guess what we can open next. And is the temperature very good? Like yeah, seven? Yeah, it'll be okay. Seven okay. will be okay. Just as long as they don't burn. Okay. Um, so I guess we can measure out our seasoning because we can add that while we're uh, they're sauteing, which okay. is no problem. So we'll put one teaspoon. I guess we had the teaspoon out before, did we? Um, isn't this a teaspoon? Oh, it still oh, yeah. is there. Yeah. yeah. So we'll do, um, I have basil, oregano, and thyme. And we're going to use one t uh, teaspoon of the basil one teaspoon and the of thyme. Basil. Okay. The time we're going to put that that one's basil, or are we going to? Oh, this is a regular. Yeah, so that one we'll do one teaspoon and okay. one teaspoon and then three quarters of a teaspoon of the thyme. Okay. Just a little bit less of this one. And this is which That's one? That's the thyme. A third? So we'll three quarters. Three quarters of a teaspoon? Yeah, so we can just even just kind of briefly measure if it fits. <laughs> it fits, let's see. Great. Okay. And did you get the oregano oh, shoot. too? Whoops. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll use the right measurement. <laughs> it didn't fit, and I tried to pull it oh. out, and I made a mess. There. <laughs> there we good. go. Yeah. And did you get the oregano? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Let's clean that up. It's looking perfect. So Kristen, how many workouts did you do a day to get a thousand workouts so soon? How long have you been a member for? I've been a member at Fit Club uh, West for about uh, just under three years. Oh, just under three years. Because yeah. I've been a member for since Fit Club's conception, right? Like since it was established back in And you were at, you're at North though, right? Correct? I'm at North. But like I, yeah. I started at the same time that like when it was open and I'm not at a thousand. I'm at. So I, I 800, used, maybe. before COVID, um, I would do like an hour workout a day. So I do two, two sessions of a half hour. Okay. So, so I'm going to say for them, you do doubles. So majority of my workout over the last two years, I'm going to say I did singles, a half hour workout. Oh, okay. Yeah. It wasn't up until maybe a year mm -hmm. ago or so, mm -hmm. a year, year and a half ago that I started doing doubles. Okay. Just to kind of increase my 
fitness, I guess yeah. you can say. Although coming back from COVID, I definitely feel that the workouts are just as hard. I've yes. got harder now. Well, I think because you know that you're only doing it for like one session, right? Yeah. You give it your all and you're going so hard. So now minutes. that those look pretty cooked and sauteed, just so they're nice and tender and soft. Yeah. Um, we'll throw the meat back in here. Okay. We can stir that all up. Okay. And then all we need to do is just add the rest of the ingredients. Okay. So oh, it smells so good. Grab the beans and then we can open the, <laughs> I'll go open those. Yeah, it's too fancy. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> I'll just stir. <laughs> You should see my can opener. It's just a very basic one. <laughs> so the next ingredient I'm opening is a 15 ounce can of uh, diced tomatoes. So we won't strain this. We'll just add the whole can in. Okay. Can you use chopped tomatoes or does it have to be that? I find you could use any or like whole tomatoes chopped up. Um, I feel that the, um, the juice of the tomatoes helps give it flavor. Yeah. And then we'll add. So one time, Kay, I didn't have canned tomatoes. I just had these fresh tomatoes. That would work too. It didn't though. It didn't? Not enough it moisture, didn't. I It didn't. No. Okay. Well, okay. Add added enough liquid. So I, I blended it up and I thought, okay, now I have, you know, blended tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, and it's going to taste fantastic. It was the most sour soup ever. It was so sour. It was so disgusting. I still ate it, but it, it, you know what? You really need that, I think, pre-cooked tomatoes in a can. It but there's better. also sodium, I believe, added, right? When they... Oh, I added salt. <laughs> <laughs> but fresh tomatoes, I think you have to cook it just a little bit to kind of get that liquid out and just kind of have the sweetness come out. I tried making my own tomato sauce once, and it did not taste like the canned stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So once that's all stirred together, the last okay. ingredient we need to add, and I like adding a low sodium chicken broth. Mm -hmm. um, so we just need to, I put the whole container, it asks for three cups, but I feel it doesn't hurt to uh, use add a little thing. bit of extra. Exactly. So it's quite a heavy, hearty uh, soup, as you can see. It reminds me of Spartan stew. Have you tried Spartan stew? Yes, this is exactly, it reminds me. Quite Except a bit. it's sausage. So that's why I said earlier, you could probably use lean ground beef, uh, turkey, um, sausage, any type of sausage mm -hmm. actually would work. If you don't like spicy, just give that nice little bit of a kick to yeah. the soup. Mm -hmm. um, you can use mild Italian sausage or any type of sausage that, for that matter. Okay. And then we just let this cook yeah, a little and longer? Then we just need to add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Okay. How much salt and pepper? I just kind of eyeball it. <laughs> I like my pepper, so <laughs> just everyone's different. So I usually use my Himalayan pink salt, grind it in there. Everyone's a little bit different because this chicken broth didn't have salt added to oh, it. Oh, right. Okay. So, and personally, I don't know. I've just kind of like grinding my own salt and pepper it lately. Better. It definitely tastes better. So then that's it. That's the soup. Pretty easy, quick. And so then how long does it cook for? Um, about 10, 15 minutes till it boils. Okay. And then it'll be ready to eat. Okay. So in the meantime, I guess I can show you how to make the pumpkin protein cookies. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> yes, everyone keeps on asking you for the recipe, right? Yes, they do. So if you're watching, please let us know if you've uh, got the recipe finally from Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe now they'll have it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe now. Yeah, it's been two weeks now, has it? No, just a week. Oh, just a week. Just okay. Just a week. Last Saturday was okay, my last Saturday. Workout. So these ones are pretty easy. All we need to do is put together the dry ingredients and then the wet ingredients. Um, so I guess we'll grab a bowl if you have Should we one. we pre-bake the oven? Do you bake it? Oh, yes, yes. Okay. 350. 350? Please. Okay, let's do that. There we go. Um, so we need a bowl? Yes, please. Okay. And we'll just rinse this off. We'll need it. And okay, then... so what we can do is measure out one and a half cups of it. So, oh, yeah, that works too. <laughs> oh, how do you open it? You can just press the middle, but it popped oh off. Gosh. It makes no difference. 
everything's fancy. <laughs> Here, you I'm trying to take it out. I hope I didn't ruin it. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like a suction cup seal. So it's one and a so half. So I pre, uh, these ones ask for old fashioned oats. I also use um, quick oats. So those work as well. But instead of leaving them as whole flakes, I put them in the fruit processor. So it just so happened that I had these already done mm -hmm. um, and easy to grab. So we'll start the one and a half cups. And then I also have protein powder. So we'll put a quarter of a cup of protein powder. We don't. Oh, a quarter of a cup? Yeah. Okay. Or we can just briefly. Doesn't no, we can measure it. A quarter of a cup of vanilla. That's, yes, correct. Vanilla protein powder. Okay. And then we'll also put in, um, it asks, the recipe asks for um, like Splenda or Stevia, it, some kind of sweetener that mm -hmm. tastes like sugar. Okay. So this is the one I found, Splenda Stevia. So this one will measure one for one cup of sugar. Oh, I good. have not tried this recipe with regular sugar, so I don't know how it would turn out for those people thinking that they might want to try it, but without the Stevia. Um, so what we're going to do is put three quarters of a cup of that. Okay. Oh, it's powdery too. A little bit of different texture than sugar. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a little bit grainy like sugar. Okay, three quarters of a cup. Okay, and then the next thing is we'll add our seasoning. So what for this one, we use pumpkin pie uh, seasoning. Mm. Oh yeah, right here. Um, pumpkin pie seasoning, and then we also use cinnamon. So we'll put a half a teaspoon of each of those in. Okay, here's your cinnamon. Such a cute container. Seasoning. Okay. I've never used these before. Mini chips. These are. They were in the organic oh, section. Oh, organic. Yes. Okay. Um, you can also. I could not find the. Oh, the Krista the brand. Krista brand. So those work too for those of you who would not. Yeah. Everyone keeps <laughs> asking me about these Krista chocolate They're chips. They're hard that to I find. Have. They sell out quite often at the store. Maybe it's from me. I don't know. <laughs> I always I get it at Sobeys too. Oh, Sobeys or Safeway. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then when I buy it, I always buy about like five or six at a time. But maybe that's why I never run out. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're. I find I almost like the taste of the mini chips or this brand, the Enjoy Life, more than regular chocolate chips. Oh really? I don't okay. know what the difference really is. You know what? They, I think these ones taste like dark chocolate. That could yeah. be why. Okay. So then what we're next ingredients we'll add is this quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay, here's salt. And then we're going to add a half a teaspoon of baking powder and baking soda. Wait, this is, yeah, this is, no, that's the, did I label them wrong? No, that's baking soda. <laughs> oh, sorry. I grabbed the wrong one. Oh. No, that was me. <laughs> oh, that's, I'm just confusing you. Okay. That's okay. So those two will put half a teaspoon, and this one is a quarter of a teaspoon. Okay. If you'd like to measure, you can go ahead. A quarter teaspoon? Yes. Okay, a quarter teaspoon. Oh, no, that one's a half teaspoon. Oh, half teaspoon. Sorry. Okay. Now we're confusing each okay. other. <laughs> I'll use two. One. No, you just use the audience. And two. Okay. And then the baking powder. Is a that quarter? That one's a half. A half as yeah. well? Okay. There. So we'll need another bowl. Okay. Because in the next bowl, we'll mix all of our wet ingredients together. I don't know if I have enough bowls for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. See, there okay, we go. that works. Um, so then for this one, we'll, we'll start, maybe we'll do the egg. If you want to get one oh. uh, large egg yolk, or not, I mean egg white, sorry. Wait, one egg white? White. So we're going to have you done Oh, that. I've done it. Now you're making me, okay, I've done it. I've done it. I'll, I'll separate <laughs> That's it. That's why I thought we'd... <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Use that first. So you want you <laughs> want the separated. egg white or egg, egg yolk? white, sorry. Okay. I'm Guys. making it work today. <laughs> I've seen it done and I I don't do it very often, but I can separate an egg. They actually have these utensils to, or these devices. There, that, that's perfect. Yeah, See, that look, separate. You did it. See, not too bad. <laughs> So what do I do with this then? We don't need it, so it's garbage. <laughs> oh Unless my you God. want to keep it no, for something. It's okay. I don't need it. <laughs> That was fun though. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So then the next ingredient, we are going to take a quarter cup of unsweetened um, applesauce and then a half a cup of pumpkin puree. Okay, you know, I'm just going to stir the soup to see how oh, that's, yeah, that's right. doing. Looks Is it good. boiling yet? Uh, not yet. I can not probably increase yet. the temperature, though. And how much pumpkin are we using? We're going to use a half a cup. Oh, half a cup. And then a quarter of a cup of the... Um, apple? Apple. Okay, I'll do a quarter of a cup of this applesauce. There we go. And do you want half a cup of this? Sure, let's do that. Let's close in. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we need a spoon, right? Yeah, and then we'll add that egg white into the mixture. And then you can mix that up. So how many cookies did you make for your 1,000 workout? I made about 30 small cookies, which was two recipes. Okay. So the recipe app says to make uh, two tablespoon sized cookies. Mm -hmm. So I just made them slightly smaller, oh, one tablespoon, okay. and then they were, you know, about an inch. They inch were and so half. cute, and you had these, you had so them in a little baggie. So these are the size that they make. Okay. Um, that's a two-inch scoop right there. These mm -hmm. ones here. Mm -hmm. Um, that I've added cho the chocolate chips in. You can also add whatever ingredients you'd like, cranberries, nuts, um, to your preference. Okay. So then once that's added, all we need to do is dump all that in. If you'd like to, you can mix it in here. I guess we should just yeah, give the dry ingredients mix a quick, this first. quick, that's it? That's it. Wow, it doesn't take much. Easy. No, it doesn't take much Okay, so then put the this into that. We'll put the wet ingredients into the dry. Okay, let's do that. And then all we need to do is stir it. That was really easy. I was actually, the first time I made this recipe, I was shocked at how easy they were and quite tasty. Okay, I'll get you to do that. Okay. I'll put this in here. And how long do these uh, take to cook? They take about six to eight minutes. They All they need is just that little bit of time to set in the oven. Okay. So would you like chocolate chips added yeah, to these? Yeah, of course, today? Okay. of course. How much? Which, let's I just kind of, it asks for like a quarter of a cup, but okay. I just freehand pour. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there. That's my, that's my freehand pour. <laughs> that was like half a cup I put in. <laughs> that's okay. Can never have too much exactly. chocolate. Exactly. And it's, you know, it's good for you. I mean, there's, um, let's see. It's made out of sugar alcohols, which is not bad for you, but there's five grams of fiber per 15 grams. Yes, so so those are bad. You need the fiber, yeah. So then do you have a baking sheet as well? Yes, yes. Perfect. Okay. And do you, like, do you pre-grease it or do you put it on a... Do you have any parchment paper yes, or not? Yes. Okay, perfect. I love parchment paper. I forgot paper. about that. Okay, I'll give this to you. Thank you. Yeah. Then all we need to do is they say um, we can you can really make them any size you'd like. The bigger they are, the longer they will take to cook. Mm -hmm. um, if you liked how cute they were with the I made last weekend, those were about one tablespoon. Okay, so I don't just, have I don't have like it's okay. Okay, you can just kind of eyeball it. <laughs> yeah, let's eyeball it then. So then what I do is. I just, you can probably even just throw them on the pan. So I just kind of make a little ball because they'll spread out a little bit, but not too much. And then I made a ball and I just press them. That's what you so did slightly. last time? And how, is it three in a row? Uh, if you want, they don't spread out that much. These ones are probably bigger like that. Okay. Jerome, I don't know if you can see. This is Kristen's and this is mine. <laughs> 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 Dude. Dude. 
I am a bit of perfectionist. I was just going to say, you're a perfectionist. <laughs> okay, so when Kristen came over, like, she had everything organized, which was perfect. Everything was nicely labeled. The <laughs> recipe was nicely written out. And when I saw that, I'm like, yeah, you're a perfectionist. <laughs> but that's great, though. I love it. I'm, I'm not a perfectionist, but I wish I was. And I also, I guess, with baking, I took after my mom. She makes uh, and she Christmas cookies, and she loves to bake, so... So, okay, what does your mom make? Like, what kind of cookies? Because um, I love oh imperial Oh, my goodness. Cookies. She probably has about 20 different types of cookies imperial? she makes. I make the imperial. I picked <gasps> those up a couple years ago. Okay, we need to talk after. That's, like, <laughs> one of my favorite cookies. Any cookie with icing on it? Oh, my goodness. So, they're, so those take a little bit time-consuming. but yes. uh, Well, I used to buy them, right, at um, Starbucks? Yep. But I'm not going to go there anymore because I don't go there to buy coffee anymore. So I don't have t the opportunity to eat an imperial cookie. Oh, I'm making it. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was good. We might as well throw two more. No, 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 it's good. Okay. Uh, two more on there. Two more? Yeah. Might as well fill the pan and then we'll bake them. Okay. So that was 12 cookies. Okay. So I guess, yeah, about 14. It makes 14 though? 15? I don't have quite enough room for all of them, but. You make room. Yeah, we make room. We'll, you want to make room? Yeah, we can. We have another sheet. Oh, don't worry about it. We'll just push them off to the side. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, that, that can be you. <laughs> I'll make the remaining cookies. <laughs> I think it's harder to push them off to the side. <laughs> yeah, they look good. Yes. And you know what? Now that it's getting colder, all I want to do is just bake. I didn't really bake much during quarantine, like during lockdown, but now I want to bake. Okay. Perfect. So now mm. that they're on the pan. Um, yeah, there is more. Oh, there is more. Do I need to move it over a little bit more or just make one of We're them bigger? We're just going to make this that one works. bigger. And then, let's see. We're going to make another one bigger. We can push them to that one. Yeah. And this one. Split it up. There we go. Now they're nice and big. They're not perfect looking anymore, but at least they're big. <laughs> That's okay. They'll taste just the same. There. Perfect. Hey, okay. let's wash up. And you said six to eight minutes. Yeah, so I'll throw them in. Still preheating, but it'll be okay. And how's your soup? The soup is just about ready. So it's boiling. Um, it's probably been about 10 minutes, I'm going to say. Okay. It's just about done. Oh, what about the noodles? So the noodles, I save until when you're ready to serve. Really? So I put them in the bottom of a bowl. I don't like my noodles going soggy. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I cook my noodles separately. Mm -hmm. And then if you feel you want noodles, as you're about to serve them, I add them to the bottom of the bowl and then put the hot soup over top. Oh, okay. So that the... The noodles don't absorb all the liquid from the soup in the oh, fridge. Oh, I see. Okay. As it cools, so. mm -hmm. That's smart. That's a good tip. So we just need to wait for the cookies. Okay. And the soup. I think the soup, we could probably almost say it's done. Really? Okay. Um, I wouldn't know if it's done, but I guess it just depends if the vegetables are cooked. Just maybe a little bit longer. I think just a little bit longer, yeah. Okay, well, Kristen, now that we have a couple of minutes, why don't you show us some salsa moves? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I'm not going to do it. I just want to see. I just, you know, I really like Spanish music and Spanish dancing, so yes. I'm just really interested in that. What interests you the most about Spanish music? It's so sexy. Just, I don't know, I just like it. So, you know, there is um, a question on Fit Club, like, what's your fit, the language that you want to learn? Mine yes. is Spanish, because I think it's so sexy. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys speak Spanish? Like a song. Yeah, yeah, yeah I would like a song. song. Yeah, maybe a salsa song so Kristen can show us. <laughs> what song? Surprises, Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay, if it's so, I don't know salsa, salsa singers. You like bachata, I like bachata. Said. So like my bachata singers would be you know the Prince Royce and uh, Santos. Who's the other one? Romeo Santos. Yeah, those are the only two I know. 
I might be a little bit rusty. I no. haven't felt the dance or bachata in a while. <laughs> Just give us some moves. I mean, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. Oh, who's this? There you go. Oh, Jerome, you come here. You, you, uh, you yeah, come, come on, here. Jerome. <laughs> You're dancing in the background. <laughs> yeah, he's. Okay, so show some moves. Yeah, show some moves. <laughs> okay, so come here. Oh, God. I don't. So you're going to step with your first foot. You're going to go to your right. Wait, is this salsa or bachata? This is bachata. Okay, okay. That's what you wanted. You wanted yeah. bachata. So you're going to take one step for, or to the side yeah. and then bring your other foot in and then step to the side and okay. then you're going to go the same thing the other direction okay so this way okay wait <laughs> okay, what do you do with your hands <laughs> well until you get the steps down, okay okay let's do really the steps matters. let's do the steps okay so we'll go one two three four yeah one three, three four, four. One, two, three. And then you just kind of move them to the side a bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm like, are the cookies ready? <laughs> I feel so sexy already. <laughs> okay, so then what else? Uh, <laughs> so you, I don't know, it's hard to say. Like, it's hard to show moves for beginners, I guess. So that's pretty much just the basics. Well, how do you, how do you twirl? <laughs> I, I actually had Carlos t come in okay, and show me so how to we're twirl. Go, and then you're gonna, when you go back this way, you're yeah. gonna turn like three. Oh wait, 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 I didn't count. We didn't count. <laughs> okay, so one, one, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, 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 seven, eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I'm getting hot already. <laughs> Okay, well, how do you salsa then? Like, what's okay, the difference? Okay, so salsa, the difference is you go front and backwards. Oh, front and back? Okay. Yeah. So the first step for salsa would be back. Oh, back. And then you're going to go forward, step yep. that foot, and then forward, and then back again. Oh, okay. It's hard to... <laughs> I'm not so a we're going to teacher, obviously. We're going forward and back, <laughs> forward and back. back yeah. <laughs> and then bachata so is the side. Is side. Okay. Yeah, I can do the side to side. <laughs> So, like I said, I'm a little bit rusty. No, no, that was fun. <laughs> so, I, so important. So, counting is important. Yes, correct. And, and also, partner really helps. Partner. The man in salsa dancing and bachata yeah. are your leads. So, the men oh. are going to tell you what to do. Oh, okay. So, you follow what they instruct. Okay. Like, kind of. You know RJ, you. right? Like, he does his own thing. <laughs> <laughs> we needed him here right now. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. He'll be, like, he'll dip me and he'll do all sorts of things. <laughs> That's actually how we got one of our um, wedding photos. Like, just out of nowhere, he dipped me. Dip you, yeah. And it caught me off guard, but it was such a nice photo oh, that we nice. framed it. Oh, nice. Yeah. I don't have it here. It's it's over there. But, yeah, I'd like to show you guys. <laughs> so, I think they probably just need maybe a minute or Another two minute? longer. Okay. Just till they're set, because they've been in for about five minutes. Okay. I think our soup is, like, just about done. I was going to say the soup is done. It's, like... Boiling really, really boiling. hard. Yeah. yeah, it's induction, so it boils really, really fast. Okay. I don't want to burn myself too. Whoops. Mm hmm. I think it's done. Okay. Shall we? Yeah, we can yep. turn it off. Okay. Um, we can add some to a bowl then. Okay. Would you like some pasta with yours? Yeah, of course. Yes. <laughs> <It's> Sunday. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm good. I, I watch what I eat for the most part, Monday to Friday. Yeah. Weekends, like, you know, pasta doesn't hurt. Why not? A little bit of pasta too. doesn't hurt anybody. Exactly, yeah. I'm not eating four cups of pasta. Okay, so a bowl for me and a bowl for you. And how much pasta would you put in? Um, just enough in the, just a bit in the bottom, because you can always add more if you'd like. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to... These were quite big noodles. You can use whatever type of noodles you want. You can use macaroni noodles. This is all I had today. Okay. So we're putting some in the Sure, let's do it. You worked out already, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, you, and we just ladle it? just bring it over here? Let me just ladle it in. And how much is a serving, do you know? Uh, it's actually a serving is quite a bit to be honest. Oh, I good. usually divide my recipe into about six portions. Oh, six portions? Okay. This makes a lot of soup. Okay. Because I usually with tracking my macros, so it like it. Here, you can yours. split it into even more if you'd like, but it is quite I a think, big portion. I think portion. six is good. Yeah, <laughs> six to seven. 
And then once we're done that, I think the cookies will be done. It's so hearty already. Okay. So this is your soup. Thank you. All right. Oh, you need a spoon. Then, yeah. Okay. And our cookies. And then we can grab the cookies out. Oh, we can grab it out? Yeah, I think they'll be done. Okay. So I'll take that out. I'll get Oops, my glove. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm in your way. Well, that's okay. Ooh, look at that. I think it's okay. It just needs to set a little bit, right? Yes, correct. Just with that egg yolk in there, it helps them bind a bit. Okay. Yeah, let's try the soup with the noodles. Actually, I want the sausage. <laughs> Sorry, these noodles are quite large. I know. Macaroni, I had to... noodles, <laughs> macaroni noodles would have been a little bit smaller. <laughs> but it's so cute. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jerome. <laughs> that it's sausage delicious. is so good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I can. The heat. Definitely delicious. spicy. Mmm. Let's try the cookies now. Okay, so these might be a little bit hot. So I'll grab this one. will here. Do you want this one then? Sure. Okay. Normally you would let them cool a bit. <laughs> so these are what it looks like. It didn't really spread too much, like we mentioned, but it's pretty much holding its shape very well. So pumpkin protein cookies. Mm. Oh, so good. And there you have it, guys. This was the recipe you guys were asking Kristen about. If you guys make it, please comment below and let us know. Or if you're watching, let us know as well. Thanks, Kristen, for joining me. It was so much fun working with you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. awesome. And if you want to come over anytime, let us know. <laughs> and we can do some more salsa. You know, I'll be your partner if you want to go salsa dancing, okay, too. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys, Thanks. for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye now. Mm-hmm. <laughs>